We know you expect more. So tonight we have team coverage of this storm from a lot of angles across Kentuckyana. We want to start with the Wave 3 News reporter Theo Keith. And Theo, you spent most of the night stranded in Spaghetti Junction, which I avoided tonight by veering at the last second onto 64 West. I think I saw you down in the hole there. <laughs> Well, that was a very smart move, Scott. Boy, we were stuck for nearly two hours. Semis ahead of us just got stuck. They couldn't make it up the incline of the ramp, which mean, meant everybody else behind them couldn't go anywhere. We were there for so long, I was able to edit this entire piece from the passenger seat of our car. Interstate parking lot. Multiple semi trucks couldn't make it up the ramp to the Kennedy Bridge. Behind them, no one could go anywhere on I-71 through Spaghetti Junction. I'm getting ready to get on the bridge to go north on 65. So, well, I say getting ready to, but it might be a while because we're not moving. The junction wasn't the only place where the weather ruined people's commute. At Shelbyville Road in the waters and heavy snow and another steep ramp was too much for some cars to handle. Others needed extra manpower just to get going. Finally, police called in the transportation cabinet to get the road passable. We got all those cars cleared off the road and I, I put tape on the ones that were in the ditch. Dispatchers stayed busy with semis sliding off the roads. It was a night to put it in park, whether you want Wanted to or not. I'm hoping just to get home where to my warm bed and everybody else to get off the roads. You can see I-64 downtown is snow covered. We heard a lot of complaints from drivers that they did not see snow plows. Honestly, we did not see very many snow plows ourselves, so we asked the transportation cabinet, where are they? The transportation cabinet says there were plenty of plows out tonight. The snow is just coming down too fast and the roads keep getting covered up every time they come plow. I can confirm for you, Scott and Shannon, the snow is coming down very fast. <laughs> it's so frustrating. The snow was melting that we had, and now it is snowing once again. So the city preparing once again for more snow. And Wave News reporter Theo Keith attended the city briefing about an hour ago. And that's also where we heard once again from JCPS. So talk to us about what their plans are for tomorrow and also what they said about calling off school for today, Theo. Well, Shannon, just outside the Metro Safe building, I want to show you what's going on right now. The road temperatures are just warm enough that it's not sticking to the roads. But if you come over here to this parking lot, it's already starting to cover the parking lot. And so JCPS officials are monitoring the road conditions, the snow conditions, and they will make a decision later about what to do for school on Thursday. They are at the same time defending their decision to have school today, even though they face criticism today that Hey, my kid got off the bus and it wasn't even snowing outside. They say that they had to make that call at four o'clock in the morning and they are defending their decision. Have a listen to Superintendent Donna Hargens. So as we came over here this afternoon, we were seeing sleet and we know that snow is forecast soon. So even if we had dismissed early today, our students would be on buses right now. The mayor says the city has learned a few things from the last snowstorm. He says the roads are not treated, by the way, right now because of the heavy rain. They wouldn't have done anything if they had uh, laid down brine or salt. So it's very important for the plows to be able to come and clear the snow away as soon as possible. So they want you to clear your, uh, remove your cars from the roads by 6 o'clock tonight, the major uh, snow roads anyway. And they are also asking that if you can, later tonight, clear away snow from bus stops near your house, also sidewalks later today. Mayor saying the city just didn't do a good enough job at that last time, and it is up to residents to clear your own sidewalk. So asking for some help with that. Well, we continue our team coverage tonight, watching the snow accumulation start to rack up across the area. And Way 3 News reporter Theo Keith joins us live now from the Salt Depot on Hubbard's Lane. Theo? Well, hi, Connie. This snowstorm is much different than the one we got a couple of weeks ago. You can make snowballs out of this. It's good packing snow. It's been warm enough, so uh, it's still plenty wet out here. That snowstorm from a couple of weeks ago is very dry snow because it was so much colder. We're getting to the level out here. Let me show you. Uh, close to an inch here in the east end of Louisville here on Hubbard's Lane. We're definitely close to an inch and that's approaching the amount of snow that uh, snow plows will actually start to plow. We've seen plenty leave but they so far just been dropping salt. 
I'll show you the operations back here. We've got a number of trucks that are just waiting uh, to get out there the, to the level that they can actually plow the snow away. It's about three inches before they'll do that a little bit later tonight. On the way out here, we drove some of the uh, main snow routes. The mayor, if you watched the 3.30 press conference, asked people to get off of those snow routes, to remove their cars from the snow routes. We drove out here, and uh, not everybody heeded his warning, that's for sure. Airwave 3 News reporter Theo Keith continuing our Winter Blast team coverage. And he joins us right now out in the snow. I don't know where you are, but it's coming down, Theo. <laughs> well, Don, we're right where we should be, which is at the uh, Salt Barn here on Hubbard's Lane in uh, the east end of Louisville. I want to tell you how much snow has come down and how better to do that than on an undisturbed car. We've got more than an inch of snow, maybe an inch and a half or two inches of snow at this point. It's piling up on the roads, and I can tell you it's come down under, on, on top of rather, some slush underneath. All of this is some slush that, of course, is going to freeze as those temperatures crash down. So really, it's just going to leave a mess. And who is going to fight it? But all of those fine people over there, they are going to help us out later tonight. Uh, once we get a little bit more snow, about three inches is what the mayor said today. That's when they'll start plowing. You, met, you mentioned it earlier in the show that they weren't able to brine and they weren't able to salt because of the rain. And that would have just washed everything right away. So plowing is going to be the best defense. And they will be out there throughout the night doing that. And of course, we will be watching them do it and report to you about the road conditions on Wave 3 News at 11. But for now, we'll send it back to you.